Most professing Christians are ashamed of Jesus. You need to stop being ashamed of Jesus. Why are you ashamed of the Word of God? And don't say you're not. You ashamed to witness for the Lord? You're bound up by shame. And Jesus said that if you ashamed of Him and His words, He will be ashamed of you. That's what the Bible says. That's what Jesus said. You have to die to yourself, Christian. And this is what's going on in this age of the church. Professing Christians are full of self. They are lovers of self. They have not died to self. They are ashamed of Jesus. They care about what other people think about them. They have not died to self. They have not denied themselves. The Bible says that we are to deny ourselves and pick up our cross and follow Jesus. You have to break through that shame, Christian. Least you be labeled with the transgressors. Paul the Apostle said, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation. Paul wasn't ashamed of the gospel. I'm not going to be ashamed of the gospel. And you, Mr. and Mrs. Professing Christian, you better not be ashamed of the gospel. Don't be ashamed of Jesus. You need to resist that shame. The Bible says resist the devil. Submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee. You need to bring some resistance to that shame. You need to submit to God, confess that sin unto the Lord, and say, God, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm ashamed. I don't know why, but I confess this sin. And then once you confess that sin and ask God for forgiveness, you submit to God and you resist the devil and you break through them walls of shame. And you know what you do? You see somebody and you go walk up to them and you begin to tell them about what the Bible says. You tell your testimony. The Bible says that we overcome the devil by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony. You go tell them your testimony. You tell them what the Bible says. You warn them about hell. And you're going to break through that wall of shame. Yet if you sit there and you don't do anything about that, you're going to be bound up by that shame. The Bible says the first ones that's cast into the lake of fire is the fearful. The fearful are those who are full of shame. They're ashamed of Jesus. They are ashamed of his word. They are ashamed to warn sinners to repent. They're just ashamed all around. And God calls that unprofitable. Be blessed today. Get you a Holy Ghost backbone. Don't be ashamed of Jesus. Break through that wall of shame. Get full of the Holy Ghost. Get full of Holy Ghost boldness and get you a Holy Ghost backbone. Break through that wall of shame and be faithful to Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name.